happened today. I drove all the way to Powerline Park, about an hour and a half away. I was gonna. My plan was to get some video of some uh, nice off-roading adventures and some awesome shit like that, you know, for the YouTube. And as soon as I get there, I realize if you don't have a fucking off-road capable vehicle, there you can't walk around. There's no way you're walking on any trails. People are riding around like crazy assholes. You're probably gonna die. So. Now I'm on my way to check out a, a, a Toyota 4x4, so I'm going to see if I can buy that. Just take off-roading. Let's do it. Here's the Toyota pickup beast I picked up last night to go mud in today. <laughs> She's a little rusty, but mechanically it seems like a pretty good truck. I got a stack of service records. The thing had an entire engine swap. Someone paid four grand for her back in 2005. All kinds of other stuff. New clutch, gas tank. Seems to be leaking a little gas. I have a fuel line up front. Hopefully that doesn't blow and lose all the gas pressure. It's the biggest thing I'm concerned about. And then the rust. It's pretty rusty. So I. The shackles and stuff seem okay. I tested it out over here on my ditch. Got it a little twisty, but it seems it seems like the real bad rust is more recent. Didn't get down, didn't take any time to wash the salt off and stuff. So I'm getting pretty close to the off-roading park here, and the old Toyota has made it this far, about 50 miles. Not a bad truck, gotta be honest. You know, I think all that rust, too, had to do with, he put some of that undercoating stuff on it, and when you do that, and you don't take the rust off, it just makes it worse. And that's what all the shit chipping off of it really was. But it's not a bad truck, really. If you keep your eyes closed, turns out this old 95 Toyota pickup is a pretty good off-road beast. It went through pretty much everything, even with the uh, bald tires and no lockers or anything. And you know what? I've been driving it since then because I, well, I hit a deer with my other truck, my daily driver, and I've had to drive this thing around a bit since I shot this. And it's quite a quite a good truck. So turns out you can buy something decent for under a thousand dollars. You know, if you don't pay attention to the rust, like I said. A lot of that stuff looked really bad, the rust on the frame, but it's actually still pretty solid. It's more recent because he coated it with some crap, but uh, it's not a bad truck.